Football was, for me, what I derived my enjoyment from. It was sort of like an escapism. I was five years old when I joined East FC. Every Saturday down at Queen's Park. Made a lot of friends that I even still see in the area today. I remember the derbies with, with Queen's Park. We called it the El Clasico. I knew I wanted to be a professional footballer since I was a, a real young kid, probably six or seven, watching the English Premier League, watching the soccer is as a young kid. It sort of gave me that drive, that ambition. I looked up to Harry Kuehl, left footer, probably the best player in the national team at that stage. But internationally, remember watching Zidane as a kid, really looked up to him, uh, players like Rick Helme as well. My family played a big role in supporting me. Drove me down every Saturday and put up with the shin pad smell in the car at pretty much three days over the weekend. So yeah, super supportive. Football was for me what I derived my enjoyment from after school or on the weekends, just kicking with mates or, or training with my brother. It was sort of like an escapism. Yeah, just pure enjoyment. And also it, it made me feel connected to the international community. You know, a young kid growing up in the eastern suburbs of Sydney, supporting an English football team or, or watching the World Cup sort of made you realise like the significance football had globally. And yeah, in Bondi, I mean, there's such an international community that you sort of start to recognise jerseys or club teams that people are wearing. It's sort of maybe learn a little bit more about the world, I guess. Oh, my virgin! Hey. Hi. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Did you have a good day? Yeah, very good. Good session? Yeah. yeah. Being back here and seeing the young kids at ECSC, it's quite surreal. Thinking that was me once um, makes me feel really grateful and blessed for the support I had, but it also inspires me to, to keep going, to continue enjoying the game.